Turkana's video blog. Turns out my father was right. There are those moments in time you wait for. That right moment when you have to take action. When those critical, life-changing moments present themselves, trust me, you'll know it. 2014, the year that changed everything. Norcon and his kids were eating their dinner at a small town diner in Ohio. He had spent years maintaining his family's secret identity. Tonight was no exception. They looked like any normal family out to dinner. Turkana, who was dressed as a teenager named Paige, was staring out the window watching the sunset. She looked sad, almost depressed. Her dad was concerned. You haven't touched your food. What's wrong? Dad, I'm sick of running. We've been in the move for over 20 years. I think we're safe now. Moving was never about your safety. You know that. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's about the age thing. It's just, if we're supposed to act like Earth kids, I want to be like an Earth kid. I want to stay in one place long enough to make friends, Turkana told him. Do you think moving all the time has affected your ability to make new friends? Turkana and her brother said in unison, Yes! Norcon didn't know what to think. Turkana continued, We don't want to move anymore. I want to graduate from one high school like a normal Earth kid my age. I want a place we can call home. Her father explained, Earth is our home. Turkana was frustrated. You don't get it, do you? Her brother Personas chimed in with his two cents. Dad, I feel like we're the outcast wherever we go. As soon as we get used to the school, we move again. Norcon felt trapped by the words of his own kids. Is that all? Turkana had more. No, I don't think you understand how frustrating it is. I have this great power and my father keeps telling me not to use it. You keep telling me, wait for the right time. Well, Dad, when is the right time? There have been so many people I could have helped, but I didn't. Lives I could have saved, but I didn't because you... Her dad shut down her outburst. Paige! The tension snapped. For a moment, nobody spoke. A few customers around them started to stare at them because Turkana was shouting. Norcon saw that they were being watched. He motioned for his daughter to tone it down. Then Personas broke the silence. You know, sis, even the superheroes I read about in my comic books can't save everybody. Turkana started to choke up with emotion. She got up to go to the bathroom. Sometimes I feel so alone. Norcon reached out and grabbed his daughter's hand to stop her before she took off. As a last effort, he wanted to reach out to her and tell her something, but he never got that chance. Turkana pulled her arm out of her dad's grip. Not now, dad, and then stormed away. He seemed taken back by her pulling away so strong. However, he knew she was just heading to the bathroom. It was just frustration. Actually, pulling away had more of an impact on her than she realized. It meant he wasn't holding her back anymore. Norcon told his son, finish up. When she comes back, we're leaving. As the bathroom door closed behind her, something caught her ear. A sound of commotion made her turn around and open the door to see... Three men, all in a ski mask, had ran into the diner and pointed guns at the girl behind the cash register. Turkana watched through the crack of the bathroom door as the robbers struck fast. They shouted their demands. Open the register, now! In the distance, Turkana watched as Personas wanted to be a hero. He said to his dad, Father, this is that moment you were talking about. I can do something. Look! Persona showed his father a device he had in his pocket. It was as small as a quarter. He told him, This will... As always, Norcon held his kids back. No, now is not the time. These thieves will take what they want and then they'll go. You'll see. Defiant, Personas rebelled and tried to stop him anyway. No, this is the time. I'll show you. I can do this. Turkana watched from the crack of the bathroom door as her brother got out of his chair and tried to throw the device on the ground by the robbers. Her father tried to stop him. Son, no! Sadly, nothing happened. It was like a dud firecracker. It just fell on the floor. Now, her dad and her brother looked worried. What had he done? The robber took this as a threat. He pointed his gun at Personas. Did you just try and throw something at me? Are you trying to be a hero? Turkana realized now that the thieves robbing the diner hadn't been the moment she was waiting for all these years. Her family was now in danger. This was that moment. She quickly looked around the bathroom. It was empty. She waved her fingers in front of her body and changed her appearance back to her old self. Her long flowing blue hair and blue eyes were back. Only this time, she was wearing a thick black mask and a blue and black suit with a cape. Beautiful, yet confident. She looked nothing like the girl who just walked into the bathroom. She looked like a superhero that her brother might read about in his comics. She dashed out the bathroom window, quickly like a jaguar. She ran around the front of the building and jumped through the diner window. It broke with a loud crash. The loud noise made everyone's heads turn their attention from the thieves to the girl with the blue hair in a superhero suit that just broke through the window. Even her little brother, who had a gun pointed at him, couldn't help but be shocked. His jaw flew open in amazement. He knew who it was. 
First, Turkana's eyes aimed at the man who was about to attack her brother. All anyone in the diner could see were flashes of blue lightning coming out of this girl's fingers and turning into a long chain that quickly wrapped around the robber. As she worked, she softly talked to herself. One down, two to go. The robbers were completely caught off guard. She made one big mistake that first day when she became a superhero. She made a cape. Only because all the superheroes her brother read about had capes. She learned what worked for some doesn't necessarily work for others. As Turkana walked toward the remaining robbers, her cape got caught on a loose nail on the floor. For a moment, this took her attention off of what she was doing. Again, she said to herself out loud, Note to self, if I do this again, lose the cape! One of the robbers, the one who demanded the money, was outraged. This was going to be an easy score. What was going on? Who was this girl? He saw her trip on her cape and seized the opportunity to attack. What are you? He screamed. He didn't waste any time in trying to stop her. He fired shots at her. As the shots echoed in the diner, Norcon feared the worst for his daughter. Turkana could hear her brother scream. Turkana! Although, with so much commotion going on, nobody really heard what he was saying. When she heard the gun go off, her reflexes reacted immediately. She used her powers to make a thick metal shield. As her powers formed the shield, she began to think. Was I fast enough? I can make things very fast, but faster than a bullet? She remembered how a long time ago, back on Batacor 3 when she was escaping her mother, she was hit in the hand with a knife because she wasn't fast enough. Her eyes squinted in fear behind the shield. For those few seconds she was being shot at, it was almost as if time was moving in slow motion. A few seconds seemed to last for hours, although in reality, it wasn't. When she heard the bullets hit the shield, she was relieved it worked. Behind the shield, she used her other hand to make another chain to wrap this guy up. Now, she was mad. Someone just tried to kill her. The last robber was standing with a gun pointed at her. Only she could tell this guy was terrified. Fear was oozing from his eyes. Turkana knew she didn't need the shield anymore. She could easily scare him with intimidation. So she threw the shield down on the floor. For this third and final robber, she constructed a long metal rod. She slammed the large metal staff on the ground and it made a loud, King that echoed throughout the whole diner. Drop it, Turkana demanded. The last thief not only dropped the gun, but also dropped to the floor, surrendering and crying. Crying or not, he was still a thief who put innocent lives in danger. She wrapped him up with a long, heavy chain too. When it was all done, she took a deep breath, then looked around the room to take it all in. She had just foiled three robbers. Like it or not, despite her father holding her back for so long, there was no turning back now. Turkana was officially a superhero. The waitress walked over to her, astonished by what she just saw. Wow, that was amazing. Who are you? What are you? Even though she had been on Earth for over 20 years, for one brief moment, she used her surname. I am Princess. But then she stopped herself and took a second to think about some other great superhero names. But she couldn't think of one fast enough. There was no sense in coming up with something stupid at the last second, so she realized she might as well tell them her real name. I'm sorry, Turkana. My name is Turkana. Turkana looked back at her dad. She could tell what he was thinking. He was happy his daughter was still alive. She smiled back at him, hoping he would understand her message without saying a word. I hope you're not mad. The manager behind the counter looked at the robbers all wrapped up tight and laughed. I don't care where she's from or what her name is. I feel safe with her around. For a few brief moments, she was the center of attention. That was until everyone's eyes turned to the flashing lights coming down the street. Someone had called the police about the robbery. How would she explain to them just what happened? She realized she needed to go. Fast. Turkana looked around in a panic. Should she go back to the bathroom and change into her human disguise again? No, that would be way too obvious. Should she go out the broken window? No, then she might scratch herself and get hurt. She couldn't fly. She couldn't just run out the front door. That would be too easy. So, now what? Without making it look too obvious, she looked over at her dad, worried. Her face spoke without words. What do I do? He gestured with a nod of his head, signaling her to go out the front door. Was he crazy? Cops were coming down the road. She saw her brother do the same movement, telling her to go out the front door. Not knowing for sure what to do, she took their advice. She ran out the front door into the parking lot. Running after her, the waitress asked, Wait, where are you going? When Turkana got outside, she looked up and knew the fastest way out of there was to fly. But how? Just then, a teenage kid on a skateboard rode up right behind her. He bumped into her and almost fell off his board. He was astonished by what he saw. Was this a girl in a cosplay costume? The kid in the skateboard made her remember the long surfboards that people stood on in the water when she lived in California. So Turkana used her powers to make a flying surfboard. 
The kid in the skateboard could not believe what he saw. Turkana hopped up on her board and flew away into the sunset just as the police were pulling up. As she flew off, the police officer got out of his car, looked up, and asked, What was that? The waitress corrected him. Not a what, but a who. That was Turkana.